Hey everybody, today we are going to go over our upper quarter um, neurodynamic test and then how we turn that into a treatment. Um, so first we're just going to start with median nerve. I like to move the pillow off to the side a little bit and make sure it's not under the patient's scapula. Um, and I'm just going to show the way that I always set up. I will say you do not have to set up or go in the same order that I do. I would just recommend setting up and going in the same order every time. That way you have a standardized way of going through the nerve glide because as we know, the order in which you wind things up can change where they may feel the symptoms. Um, so first I'm just going to go ahead and abduct her arm. Then I think it's easiest if I go ahead and get the hand placement correct. So I'm going to open her hand and make sure I'm holding on that thumb because we need the thumb included for median. Then I go ahead and depress the scapula and I'll hold that in place. Then we're going to add the external rotation and then the elbow extension. Now if she says this reproduces her pain. Median is one where we're not in the way, so we can get that side bending to see if we can um, change anything with her head position. So sometimes prior to setting up these tests, I'll tell the patient beforehand, like when we're going through this, I may have you move your head. I want you doing this. Oh, you can leave your head down. I want you doing this, not this, because if you ask someone to bring their shoulder to their ear, a lot of times they will just rotate their head. So um, before doing these tests, a lot of times I'll go ahead and just kind of teach the patient exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so we're going to go back to that position. We're going to find where she's getting a little bit of tension. And then I'm going to say, can you bring your left ear towards your left shoulder? And then does that get better, worse, or same? And then we're gonna go right ear towards right shoulder. Better, worse, or same. And we'll pretend that she got better with leaning towards and worse with leaning away. So how we can make this a manual nerve glide is I can teach her that I'm going to be moving your elbow in and out like this. And every time I move your hand away from you, I want you to lean your ear towards my hand right here. And then every time I come towards you, I want you to lean your head away. You can also put a slide board under their head so that you're not getting any of that rotation that they'll compensate with and you can get more of a true side bending. But this is how I would work on that nerve glide or maybe if she was having more wrist symptoms, I might keep her here and then we'll have the same rules, but I'll flex the wrist and have her lean away and then extend the wrist and have her lean towards. And you can just make that more specific for whatever body region you're treating. Then next we will do ulnar. So I like to bring the arm up first again. For ulnar, I just put my hand flat on theirs. I think that's easiest control-wise for me because then I can kind of do whatever I want. I'm going to go ahead and depress the scapula. I already have her hand set, so then we're going to add that rotation, elbow flexion, and shoulder elevation. <laughs> and then this one is hard to see if it gets better with moving towards but you can see if it gets worse with moving away. So I'm gonna ask her to side bend her head, bring her right shoulder towards the right ear. Does it get better, worse, or same? Worse. Worse, so then you can come back. So for this one, I think the easiest move is either here or here, keeping the hand in place because the hand can kind of like get in the way of the head for the manual nerve glide. So for this one, I'm going to tell her, as I extend your elbow, I want you to lean your head away. And then when I bend your elbow, I want you to lean your head towards. She was worse with leaning her head away, so we wanna decrease the tension as she leans away and increase the tension as she leans towards. So that's one way we could do that. Or the other way would be um, keeping her in this wrist and elbow position, but I'm going to bring the shoulder down, and then when I come towards you, you can lean away. 
Oh, I guess that'd be a tincture. So uh, we'd be here, head towards, and then you lean away when I bring down. So that'd be the glider, whereas the other one would be tension. Um, then for radial, I like to have them scoot a little closer to the edge, just so I can add more shoulder extension if need be. I have them position their own hand first. So can you put your thumb inside your hand? And then I'm gonna kind of wrap her up like this. I come in and stabilize the scapula again, and I kind of use my hip to get a little distraction. So I'm gonna bring her in here, depress the scapula, and then I'm just gonna extend that elbow and pull the wrist back. Feel anything? And then if we need to, we can add a little abduction or a little more extension to sensitize that further. For this nerve glide, we aren't in the way, so we can sensitize using the head. So we'll bring her into that position, and then we'll ask her to side bend towards. Better, worse, or same? Worse. Worse, and then we'll side bend away. Better, worse, or same? Same. Um, she gets worse with going towards, so I'm going to modify the nerve glide for her that way. Um, so as she leans towards, I'm going to, I think this one is easiest to move the hand, so I'm going to um, extend her wrist as she side bends toward me, and then I'm going to flex the wrist as she side bends away. And we can do that as a manual treatment. And then we're going to go through and match all of these to a home program. So you can go ahead and set up for me. Um, so if she was in a more acute phase of rehab and getting these as her home program, um, I would want to give like a maximum of five to 10 reps, but I'm going to give her instructions to do that like every hour to two hours. So few reps, but often throughout the day. Um, the subacute and the chronic phase, I'm going to increase her reps to like 10 to 15 at a time, um, but only doing them like two to three times a day. And then if she is central sensitization, I'm going to go back to the same dosage as acute, giving her like five to 10 at a time, but like every hour to two hours. Um, so for median, I like to have them bring their fingertips up to the shoulder. Will you do the other side? <laughs> Thanks fingertips up to the shoulder and then as you open palm goes down and you can lean your head towards and then you're going to reverse that same method lean away we'll pretend she's acute so I'm going to tell her to do five to ten of these every hour to two hours and with all of the nerve glides regardless of phase I'm telling them to just nudge the pain, don't really blow through it. Um, and changes in sensation are, are okay, but I don't want any like true numbness, um, but like pins and needles type of sensation is fine. Um, next for ulnar, I like to do the okay sign with this one and have patients flip to go on their eye. So I'll have her start here. And then we're gonna flip that behind you, keeping that okay sign the whole time. Going up and back. Technically you can just come down, but I always add the back. I feel like you get a little bonus because you kind of get some radial in there. So you can go back and forth. And then for Radial, um, we'll stand, that way you have room. And for radial, I kind of start up at the shoulder and then I'm going to have you keep your thumb tucked in and you're going to act like you're reaching for something behind you. And then you'll come in and reach for something behind you. And now hers was worse with leaning towards that side so for her when she's going back I may have her lean away from that side and as she comes towards then she can lean towards it and that's how I would give her nerve glides thanks guys